Welcome back my fellow space engineers. Now, this is Grayback and today we're going to be doing a quick little tutorial on how to adjust settings in space engineers in order to use mods from the Steam Workshop. So the first thing we need to do is click on options then click on the game button and right here where it says experimental mode we want to click on that. You're going to get this little pop-up message telling you that you know it can make your game run poorly destabilize it and stuff like that just click uh yes and then click okay uh once you do that you'll notice up here in the right hand corner you have a red badge that says experimental mode now we want to get rid of that red badge and to do that we want to click shift and f1 and down here at the bottom you'll see there's three blocks and it says uh, show warnings in game, show all warnings, and show all blocks. We unhighlight all of those or uncheck them and then click close. You'll see that that red badge is now gone. With that out of the way, the second thing that we need to do is we're going to start a new game or an existing game in some cases, depending on the mods that you want to use. But uh, we're just going to use new game right here. We're going to go into custom game and we'll just select alien planet. Fill out all this as it pertains to you, and then um, for game mode, it can be survival or creative. Doesn't matter. The next thing you want to do is click the mods block right here. And this will be a list of all the mods that you've subscribed to in the workshop. Alright, now I'm not going to do anything uh, too drastic, so I'm just going to get a quick mod right here it's called configurable parameters and the reason I want to use this mod is because if we open it up in the workshop right here we can see that this mod has a dependency called rich HUD master now I'm not loading in rich HUD master okay the second thing we want to do also depending on uh, the type of mod you're using or whether or not you use uh, want to use certain programmable blocks in the game is we're going to go into the advanced settings and we're going to scroll down until we see the words in-game scripts we need to click on that right there and click OK all right and now that we've got that all set up we're going to click the start button right here and now that we're in game we can um, in this case we want to check to make sure the mod is loaded so we're going to press the enter key and hit f2 and you can see that the configurable parameters mod is loaded but you'll also note note that rich hud master is loaded and that's because if there's any dependencies you don't necessarily have to subscribe to them on the steam workshop they'll automatically be downloaded and used with your game all right now the inner F2 thing was just specific to the configurable parameters uh, depending on what type of mod you use or determine how you uh, view it you know uh, so if it's a blocks mod something that adds more blocks or changes blocks in the game you might hit the G menu right here and find those extra blocks listed right here but then you're probably asking yourself but Krayback what if I want to add more mods to the game well let's just say you do so we'll unload the game right here and then what we want to do is click load game find the game that you want to load and click edit settings here's the mods right here and I think for this right here we will use uh, let's use something simple we'll just use this windows wall right here and we will no we we'll use this one We'll click it over right there. Now, make sure you do not hit the X up here. Okay, make sure you click the OK button. If you hit X, the mod won't load. You need to click OK. Once you're back out to this block right here, click OK again. And then you can just load the game up. All right, now that we're back in the game, if we click the G menu right here, you'll see I've got this uh, additional side menu item right here and we have the extra blocks from that mod in the game. And that is pretty much it when it comes to mods. Thank you so much for tagging along and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.